Think about it. How do you know someone loves you? They show it, right? They reveal, manifest, make known their love to you by their actions. Someone might say all the time that they love you, but if their actions show the exact opposite, then you might begin to wonder if it's true. Love, in this sense, in order to be love, must be made known. Jesus willingly, lovingly died for sin he did not commit, endured the judgment of sin, death that we deserve. And uh, Heather and I would wake up in the morning before the kids got up and separately we'd just go outside and watch the sunrise and spend time with God. And that first morning, I, I'm sitting there, I'm looking at the sun as it rises over the horizon. Its beams start to radiate in all kinds of ways across the vastness of creation. And it just, it just hit me in a fresh way. I know this God and know Him. Like I'm talking to Him right now. I, I was talk, He's talking to me. I have communion with this guy, fellowship with this guy. It just fell on my face. I was just so overwhelmed. I have fellowship with God. And so the good news I have is you can have it too. Every one of you, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, you can have fellowship with God. And I'm just zealous for you not to miss this and the busyness of this life and all the details of your day and the pressures around you and the challenges you're walking through. I just want you to know Jesus has made the way for you to experience intimacy and joy and fellowship and union with God. Don't miss that. Don't walk through life missing that. And by all means, please don't walk through life missing that and then call it Christianity. That's not Christianity. Jesus offers you everlasting love. He has come. He's died on a cross to cover over your sin. He's made a way for you to have fellowship with God. And you can have that, that kind of fellowship with God today. Now, there's no list of things you got to go do. Now, you turn and say, I, I want, forgive me my sin. I want to be reconciled to you. He answers that prayer.